of the most common questions I get are usually involve aligning with CSS. It's getting a couple of objects to go next to each other as opposed to on top of each other and also how to center items in there. It's not as easy as uh, aligning text where you've got some simple like centering button on your uh, word processing document. You can't just center it that way. You have to do it a little bit differently with CSS that I don't think completely intuitive but it's still a very simple process on how to do it. I'm going to use Dreamweaver as an example here. I'm just going to create a new document. doesn't matter what type of document it is. I'll create a new one. And I'm going to go into my code. And within my head up here, I want to just define a style. This is going to let me create the style sheet that I'm looking to use. And I'm going to close that out. All right, now within there, what I'm going to do is just create two simple boxes. I'm going to position them side by side. So I'm just going to create a simple class. I'll call it box1. Do open and close curly bracket there, and I'll give it a background oops, of, that's eh, fine, I'll just pick a color there, red, and close that out. I'm going to give it a width, just so we can actually see it, 100 pixels, and a height, pixels as well. Now I'm just going to copy and paste that so I have a second box. I'm just going to call this one box two and I'm going to change this simply just to blue and just keep it simple here. All right, now if I go into the design area of my page, I haven't quite added anything there yet. So I'm going to come down to the body and I'm going to add these two just as a div class equals box one. I'm going to close that out. And again, I'll copy and paste that. So I've got two boxes here. Now if I go into the design area, I should see something because I have something in the body area here. I should see those two boxes. And I do. And again, like I was explaining earlier, by default, CSS is just going to stack these two items one on top of the other. And it's not just a Dreamweaver trick here. I'll actually save this. I'll save it to my desktop. And I'll just preview it in you'll see that those two boxes really are just stacked. So to get those two side by side, I have to use a float tag. And I never really understood what a float tag was when I first started out. It just seemed kind of ambiguous. Like, why am I floating it? Why can't I just align it? That's just the way CSS came up with the process. So I give it the float tag, and I'm going to tell it left. And I'm just going to copy and paste that into the other item. So both items need to have that float tag. If I go into the body area, the design area here, you'll see that they jumped up and they should be lining up next to each other. Again, just to prove it, I'll save it and I'll open up a browser. And they did, they jumped third side by side here. Now what I want to do is just go ahead and add a little bit of padding to it, just kind of set those two apart. What I'd want to do is add a little bit of margin to it. So I'll say, just for the first box, you could really do it for either one. I'll say margin 20 picks. Actually, let's give it a margin of right. So it's just going in the one direction, so it's not pushing it down. Now if I hit save and come back up here, and I can just refresh the browser, and you'll see that they got separated just like they do in the design area here or the body area of my Dreamweaver document. Um, it's careful not to use padding in this case. So if I use padding, you'll see what happens. Actually the color bleeds out as opposed to giving it that nice white gap in there that we wanted. Now the other thing is why did I float it left? Why didn't I float it right? Well, let's take a look here and see what happens if I change that from float left to float right. I'll save my document. You'll see that they actually kind of flip-flop positions there. The blue is on the inside and the red is on the outside there. So what it's actually doing is saying the first one needs to go all the way over and then the second one is going to come up next to it. So I typically use the float left and then if I need to get it off the side, oops, make sure I can actually type that right, then I'll come in and add some margin to the left of it as well. So that way I've pushed it off the side. So if I want to kind of bring it in a little bit, that's the way I would do it. 
Now, the other thing that people ask about is actually centering a couple of objects within the page. Again, when I first started out, I didn't think this made complete sense. I thought there should be some kind of just centering alignment option, but there really isn't one for this. There is for text, but not for objects. So what I want to do is I'm going to remove this margin left just so everything is over. All right, what I want to do is create one more style here. I'm going to create basically like a wrapper around these two boxes, and I'm going to tell that to center because these have their own position. They have a margin. Uh, they're floating next to each other. They're basically aligning left by this float tag here. So I need to create another wrapper or another class to go around it. Call this one box holder. It can be called whatever you want. I'll open and close my curly brackets here. And what I'm going to do is give this a margin of 0 on top and auto on left and right there. So now if I take this box holder and I wrap it around these two div tags in my body, Make sure that's spelled right. Now what I should get is this box should be centered in my document. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to come back to Safari. See that the two boxes are still aligned to the left. Well what happened there? What happened is I haven't actually defined any kind of width for this. So basically it's just running the whole width of my document here. It's not really knowing what to center. It's not centering the content within it. It's centering the actual frame that it's creating. So the last thing I need to do is set a width for that box. And see, I've got two 100 pixel wide boxes with one that's got a little bit of margin on the side there. So if I add that up, I've got 220 pixels. So again, I'm kind of creating a frame for these two boxes and I'm telling it to center. And you can see in the body there that does look like it worked, but let's preview it in a browser just to verify, and you'll see your boxes are centered. So those are the two different ways that you can align objects within uh, an HTML document using CSS. You're going to want to use the float tag and or use the margin auto tag. Mm -hmm.